Welcome to Dr. Kanan Pagrandi's channel. This is Diwali. And all of us are going to eat more. We are going to eat when we are not hungry. We are going to have calories in high density. It's like a bomb going inside, exploding and creating more trouble than ever before. And also so much of festivities in which we are ready to destroy the environment. I don't say we should not burst crackers, even I had done it. But today, the information is available that we can destroy the atmospheric uh, space in which we all live. We derive that oxygen. We need to ensure that everyone around us are happy and healthy. So on this day, there are ways to alter our expression of festivity. We can ensure that we can give food for somebody who didn't have rather than offering it to only people, those who have. This is one way it's possible. The balance is well maintained. It's all about balance in life. It's not about everything being in one place. So most of the time we only give it to somebody who has everything. So why don't we decide to give it to somebody who doesn't have this? So naturally the possibility that it may not damage them because they don't have that much calories as we already have. So it's like we already have enough property. And so giving these calories will buy more property. So I'm talking about property as a fat here. <laughs> so you need to make sure that this property can be given to others who do not have anything at all. So the sweets and savouries or whatever that you want to give, you can give it to somebody who doesn't usually get to partake of all this. This is one way. Second, whether we need to really burst crackers or not, I'm not going to get into the, um, the scientific aspect of, oh, this is the pollution, etc. Even the noise, even the kind of smoke that we inhale, how many of us are admitted in hospital or going through a nebulizer to ensure that we can clear the lungs? We don't have a clue because all of us are only bothered about those who are healthy, not about those who are not healthy. So let us move that uh, aspect of bothering about others to the next notch and say I can actually help those guys not getting admitted in a hospital because I celebrated my Diwali but they are celebrating theirs inside a hospital. So you can look at it in different ways. How you can avoid being a patient yourself when you take uh, all the precautions when you burst crackers. Okay. We have been told parents are there, some other uh, person supervising, so many things we do. But anybody in the environment who may have uh, allergic manifestations to the smoke or they have a bronchitis, they are already involving the lungs in so many other problems, can be admitted in a hospital for no rhyme or reason of theirs. And we can induce those changes. So I think to be more and more um, aware of your environment, that is also throwing away a form of darkness. Darkness is not just about uh, you knowing something and others knowing something. It is about what you care to do for others. It can also be a light that is thrown in that direction, which can remove the dark. You can make the difference and ensure that minimize the pollution that you create inside you, outside you, in the form of thought, deed, action. In the form of food that we take in and the food that we could have shared with somebody who didn't have that food. Where you are overeating, they can't even have their basic need fulfilled. Ours is a want, there is a need. So if we balance it that way, you will find, wow, this Diwali was different. We were able to give it to people who would have never had this Diwali. You can buy new clothes for somebody who couldn't afford to buy. Because we have enough, our closet is filled with clothes, but we need to buy. Okay, buy. Don't have to buy two. Don't have to buy three, but at least buy one for somebody else. So this way we can celebrate a different Diwali wherein we have made somebody else around us in the same environment to feel that they were taken care of by their fellow men and women who are also occupying the same planet. 
may be on a hierarchy we may be higher in a financial state but when a earthquake hits it hits everyone the same way so i would say it doesn't make any difference let us go ahead and do good things and it's exactly what is about the festival of lights the enlightenment that comes to us about worrying about people around us or worrying about ourselves when you change the focus outside you actually the focus inside you is different so i think this diwali can be a different one because you never bothered about yourself alone you now took care of the others who needed you not just who wanted you have a great diwali thank you